This is the notes for section 27 conjectures. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you stop the video, uh, read section 27, and then go ahead and start it up and go through the notes here uh, with the video. Um, it's a pretty. This will be a, a pretty quick one. We got to do a lot of this in class in terms of uh, with your calculator. But there's a, just a few things I want to hit upon. First of all, what is a conjecture? Well, the definition of a conjecture is basically an educated guess or opinion. Most conjectures are generalizations and can be written as conditionals or in an if-then form. Okay. What I'd like to do then is look at the idea of the truth of a conjecture. Well, for the most part, if we're trying to say that a conjecture is true or false, it's best to first figure out whether or not it's false. Because as, as we learned earlier, it's always easier to prove that, that a, a conditional is false than it is to prove that it's true. Okay, So um, since um, conjectures can be written as conditionals, they are proved or disproved really in the same way. So it is good to start with a situation in which the antecedent is true and look for a counterexample. In other words, you're looking for a situation where that antecedent is true but the consequent is false. If you do that, then you know that the conjecture is wrong. All you need is one of those. Okay? When the instances of the conjecture are found to be true, then there is evidence that the conjecture is true. Now, not that there that it is true, but there's evidence that it's true. So, but finding examples in which the conjecture is true is not enough to say it's always true. In mathematics, for a conjecture to be accepted in all cases, it must be proved for all of those cases. Okay? That's something that we're going to get into and we're, we'll spend quite a bit of time on in this course is the idea of how do I prove something's true or a conjecture is true. Okay. Lastly, let's look at using a DGS to test conjectures. Um, there's going to be a bunch of activities that we're going to do in class that we're going to kind of look at this, but in this lesson what we're going to explore using a DGS to test conjectures and, and the ability to copy, paste, drag, and measure all of these items will help us in testing geometric conjectures. So when, you, when you're trying to test a conjecture, it might be helpful to you to use that calculator to kind of help you to look for, for, for uh, counterexamples especially.